Lesson 1, WFDIS 101 Companion Video. The WFDIS 101 Lesson Companion Videos were created to enhance the written lessons, not to replace them. The videos only demonstrate portions of the lessons and do not cover the entire lesson materials. Users should utilize the videos as supplements to the lesson, not in place of them. This video demonstrates the following sections described in Lesson 1, using WFDIS 101. How to request additional user roles in WFDIS. How to determine who is the data manager for a unit. How to determine if data has already been uploaded for a unit. And how to update your contact information. How to request additional user roles in WFDIS. To request additional user roles in WFDIS, log into the appropriate WFDIS application, production, or training. Click My Home and then User Roles. The Home User Roles page appears with your current privileges checked in the User Roles box. Check the additional roles you want. Write a justification for the request. Your justification should explain why you need the additional roles. Click Submit Request. A WFDIS administrator reviews your request and approves it if requirements have been met. How to determine who is the data manager for a unit. To determine who is the data manager for a unit, log into WFDIS training. And select the My Home tab. The home page appears. Select Address Book from the menu options on the left. Select WFDIS Address Book from the Address Book drop-down menu if it's not already selected. Select Data Manager from the Roles drop-down menu. From the list on the left, select the geographic area that contains the unit you've chosen to work with in one of two ways. Double-click the name or single click the name and then click the double arrows pointing to the right. The selected geographic area will be listed in the selection box on the right. Select the agency the unit belongs to in the same way. Click Apply Filter. The list of data managers for that agency in that geographic area are listed below. Scroll through the list and locate the data manager for the unit you are looking for. How to determine if data has already been uploaded for a unit. To determine if data has already been uploaded for a unit, log into WFDIS training. and select the Intelligence tab. The Intelligence map appears. Select the Identify tool and click in the area on the map where you would like to create your training incident. A small yellow circle appears. Choose the Info sub tab. Note the radius in miles setting. The default is 5 miles. Click Strategic Objectives. The list of strategic objectives appears for the location selected and all federal lands within 5 miles. How to update your contact information. To update your contact information, log into the appropriate WFDIS application. Click My Home and then contact information. The home contact information page appears with your contact information pre-filled. Review each field and make the appropriate changes. To receive text messages from WFDIS, identify your cell phone carrier. And then click the link generate alternate address from cell number and carrier. The alternate email address field autofills. 
Verify that your geographic area, agency, and unit are all correct and click Save Profile. Your changes are saved in the database.